Well, hello there. I'm using a different camera for this one. I'm using the Zoom Q2N 4K one because I've just had a battery error in the camera I normally use. Right, this is a video about possibly what it is my favourite guitar, electric guitar I own. It's not my big strat that I bought in the 90s, in the mid early 90s. It's not my old Ibanez. Um, I don't count the resonator because that's a different beast. It's this. I got this many years ago. It's a 62 Telecaster reissue, which I prayed the princely sum uh, from a guitar teacher that I went to for a short time of 150 quid, right? And I only paid him 120 because that's all I had. Uh, and he let me off with the rest. And this is, without doubt, my favourite guitar. Um, yes, it's a Japanese one, and it's got the little made in Japan at the back, which is the only thing that you could actually to tell it's Japanese. Um, it's got a ding on the back of the neck from where I once dropped it down the stairs. It's, it's a Telecaster. It's, you know, you'll notice that there's a knob missing, the tone knob there, right? Put it up here because I'm not sure how far it's going to show, but the tone knob's missing. Um, it works, it's just that when I had that fitted, it was a different size to the pots there, and I've just never got around to finding knobs that fit. It's the electrics and everything else. I had this fully shielded. Um, by Matt over at Steel Town Music, uh, which a lot of you know, you, you know, Matt's my go to luthier for any work whatsoever. And I always say, if you're ever in the northeast of England and you need anything done, go to Steel Town Music. Seriously, Matt will sort you out. Um, these are quite thin frets, they're not jumbo frets, they're quite thin. Um, it's got a really a rosewood neck. The tuners are vintage tuners. Um, these allegedly came off. Uh, Vintage guitar and a not stock. The pickups are allegedly Texas specials, although um, it's not something that Matt mentioned to me when he sorted it out. So I had it fully shielded. Uh, whenever I record this one, you may have seen a couple of bits and pieces of me playing this. Um, it's got a lovely tone, it really does. And it's, I don't know how obvious it is, but I'm gonna try and show you the, the camera on the, you know, the base of the radius on the fretboard. Right, it's quite a heavy radius. So, if I was playing slide, which because this is in G at the moment, hold back to play more. So, you know, it's I would need um, a slide demolition half the house, like this one, which has got a. I'm gonna see if you can see there's a slight bend on it. So, you know, to be still, but this is not set up for really for slide. This is more finger style and open G. You know what I mean? But it's it's lovely. Um, I keep this with a set of 11s on it, uh, and it sits in the corner over there. That's what it does. It's um, it's a guitar I've got a lot of time for. It's been through a lot with me, um, and it will probably go through a lot more. Um, and it sounds better than some USA tellies I've played. It's a really nice guitar. So if you ever see one. Although last time I had a look, they were rising in price because people are starting to catch on how well made they were. So if you're after a Telecaster and you see a Japanese 62 reissue like that, snap it up. Seriously, snap it up. A wonderful guitar. Really wonderful guitar. I never thought of myself as a Telecaster guy. You know, it's why my Strat upstairs, you know, I bought a Strat. But funnily enough, the guitar that I that I, I suppose you could say I bond with for certain styles of music most is that one. So it goes to prove that not always do you need the most expensive instruments. It's not the instruments the person playing it. So yeah, um, I wouldn't go past a lot of them. But it's, we, you know, me and you know Gypsy Dave that when we were able to still play it before there was lockdown and stuff, uh, we were talking one night about things and how. Even the beginner's guitars these days are made better than some of the mid range instruments were in the 70s, 80s, and even into the 90s. Um, so a beginner's instrument now is much better. So something like that, which is their attempt at a mid-range guitar, or the high end of the Japanese market, um, that's better made than most 70s straps, to be honest, and 70s tallies. So I wouldn't go past one of those. If you get a chance, seriously, seriously, if you play a tally castle, I'll get a chance to, pl to play one. Give it a play. Once it's set up correctly, 
your flight. And of course, it's a telecaster, which means you can drop it down the stage, you can throw it, you know, out the window, and it's probably going to get a couple of dings, and that's it, and you'll still be in tune. Anyway, that's so that was my objection to uh, my favourite guitar, my '62 Japanese telecaster reissue. Bye bye.